also heard you talking about uh, natural healing, like you don't believe in taking pills. Is that correct? And you believe in just healing your body naturally? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so a, a big thing is with that is I think you should avoid taking pills at all costs. I think there was a time when um, taking that type of medicine is helpful, but I also think the body is designed to naturally heal itself. Mm, um, interesting. Just in the same way that like, if you get a cut, the cut will heal itself. Like if you give it rest and you, you know, you stay out of water and, and whatnot, like the, the cut will naturally close up and your skin will grow back. Yep. Um, now, obviously, if the cut is too deep, then you need to get stitches, and there's also a severity to that as well, just how mm. severe the cut is. But um, I think everything applies like like that. It's like if you're eating healthy, you're sleeping, you're you're doing everything um, you can correctly to take care of your body. Um, the body can heal a lot of things on its own. Um, but the problem is, is that a lot of people aren't eating properly, and because they're not eating properly, and they're they're more stressed than they should be with work or just different things in life. Um, that's making people sick and ill, and then you're dependent on taking pills and having surgeries uh, to fix those things, and it's kind of a downward spiral. Mm, um, okay. I'm not completely anti. I never take any medication. Never um, have surgery. Um, like I've had surgeries for sports injuries that needed, you know, you know to be repaired. Mm. But also realizing that when you have surgeries and you do these traumatic things to your body, there also are long-term consequences to them. Mm. Um, there's NFL players in the States who've had, you know, 20, 30 surgeries in their life. And by the time they're 50, they can barely walk, you know? Yeah. Um, so there's also consequences to having those things. So it's just thinking again, thinking long-term about everything you're doing, like by taking this pill, um, I risk being addicted. Um, and you also are covering up, um, you're, you know, a lot of times the problem with medication is you're fixing the symptoms and not the root cause. Mm. So I keep getting headaches and I just keep taking Advil. It's like, well, why do you keep getting headaches? Do you keep getting headaches because your diet is poor? Do you keep getting headaches because you have high blood pressure or mm. low blood pressure? Like, what's the, 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 the thing that's causing this? And let's fix the root so that it's gone for good instead of just masking it. Yeah. Okay. So that being said, what about, um, what's your current diet? Like, what's, what's your routine in terms of diet? I think you mentioned before about sugar. You're removing sugar from your diet. Is, um, yeah, so sugar, sugar is the big one for me. Um, okay. I guess out of all diets, so there's, you know, there's so many diets these days, and yeah. I think this is areas people can get the most confused. Um, uh, I don't think that there's any one right or wrong diet, but I think mm -hmm. the one thing that's very consistent across every diet is that people need to eat more greens and they need to minimize sugar. So that's okay. the main things I focus on: minimizing the sugar intake and then maximizing how much vegetables that I can that I can get on my plate. Uh, whether you eat meat or not, or eat bread or carbs, like all that stuff is is a um, kind of up for debate. Mm. Um, I can't eat carbs, and that doesn't work for me personally. Um, I actually find I do really well eating like things like rice and eating pastas and stuff. Um, but that's not everybody. So I think you got to find what works there. But if you look across almost every diet, there's no diet that's like, hey man, eat as much sugar as you possibly can. Like yeah. it's just sugar is just the one thing that you know um, is 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 just is gonna rot you from the inside out. And vegetables are the one thing um, that, you know, if you're eating a lot of greens, um, are, are going to, you know, give you the vitamins you need and, and help sustain you over the long run.